Hello guys, welcome back to my channel VFX Expert. So guys, in this today's class, uh, we are going to see. Suppose you have tracked your shot in any 3D software like PF Track or 3D Equalizer, and you are exporting camera track from this software. So after this, if you are importing this camera track inside maybe Maya, so this image sequence is properly not playing inside Maya. So how to resolve this problem or how to solve this problem? So now if you will see here, this is our actually sort here which just I have tracked inside PF track. Then after this I have exported from PF track. Then after this just I have imported inside Maya. So if you will see here, this image plane or image sequence is not playing inside Maya. So now just I am going to see how we can solve this problem. So just I am going to explain from starting. So just I am going to export camera track from PF track as well as from 3D equalizer. So now just we are inside PF track and just I am going to export this camera track. So just double click on this export. Then downside you can select format Maya 2011 this ASCII this one. Then file name where you want to save this camera track. So just I am going to save in H drive. In H drive then this sequence problem folder. And this is a PF drive folder and just give a file name. And just click on save. Now finally we have to click on export scene. So while you are exporting your camera track from PF track, so on top left corner you will see this frame rate. This is again most important things here. Frame rate which is 25 fps. So I have tracked this shot and I have exported this camera track on this 25 fps. This is again important things here. Same age. See just I have tracked this shot inside 3D equalizer and just you are going to export. So before exporting again just you have to click on this camera. So you have to check this frame rate. This is again most important things here. So suppose if you have tracked your sort maybe on 24 or 25, then before exporting just you can define maybe support 25. Then after this just you have to click on 3D E4, then click on export project, then Maya, then just select your folder if you want to save this Maya file, sequence problem, then 3D E folder and downside just give a file name. Then we have to click on OK. Now we have to click on OK. So also just I exported this camera track from 3D equalizer on this 25 FPS. So now both uh, camera track just I am going to import inside Maya. So now we are inside Maya. So first I am going to import camera track from 3 track. Then again we have to click on file. Then we have to click on open scene. And just we have to select your file which just we have exported from peer track. This is a peer track folder. So this file just I have exported from peer track which is .ma file. Now we have to click on open. Then click on the panel and just select this camera here. So now if you will see here, so this is our actually main folder which is PF underscore data. Inside this you will get all these actually elements. This is our camera, then point group, then other elements here. Now if you will play and just check this timeline, so you will see this image sequence is not playing inside Maya. Same age, suppose just I am going to import camera track from 3D equalizer. So again just we have to just create new scene. Don't save. Now we have to click on file. Then we have to click on import. Then again just we have to select file which just I have exported from 3D equalizer. The sequence problem 3D E. Now select this. This is actually dot mail file. Now we have to click on import. So again same thing we will get here. Now again just we have to click on panel and just select this camera view. So now again if you will play. So again this image sequence is not playing here. So easily just you can see. So problem is same. So this is actually problem due to our Maya software or version. So how we can resolve? So for just I am going to actually import our PF track data again. So again just new scene. So guys for this just simply just I am going to convert over this image sequence or footage. So this file just create maybe from After Effects or even from new also you can create. So both software just we will explain. So again first come inside After Effects. So now we are inside After Effects. So just we have to import our footage. So again just double click inside this project panel and just select your footage. So this is our actually image sequence. So simply just we have to select starting frame. Now we have to click on this sequence or PNG sequence or whatever sequence. Now we have to click on import. So now first what we have to do after importing your footage. So first we have to check this frame rate. So you can see this, this is actually showing here 30 fps. So what we have to do. So just we have to change our this frame rate. Okay. Then right click on this footage. Then click on interpret footage then main and the same frame rate just we have 
defined here on which just you have tracked or exported your camera track from PF track or 3D equalizer. So just type it here 25. And after this, we have to click on OK. Then after this, just we have to create a new composition. So, so select just your footage and just drag and drop on this composition icon. So you can see downside. So this will just create a composition. So you can see here. Then after this, you have to also check your starting frame. This is again most important things here while you are going to convert your image sequence. So if you will see here, this is actually main footage sequence. So you can see this is actually starting frame, which is at this one, which is start from zero. So suppose your sequence maybe start from 0 or 1 or maybe 1001. So after creating your composition, again just you have to select this composition. Then click on the compositions and composition settings. Then same frame, but just you have to define this starting frame. So suppose, so this sort or this sequence just started from 0. So just we have to define it as a 0. And suppose if your sequence has started maybe from 1001 frame. So just simply just you have to type. 1001 so this is again most important things here type it here 0 according to this sequence or this image sequence now we have to click on ok then after this just again click on compositions then add to render queue or simply just you can press ctrl m shortcut ctrl m then we have to click on lossless then just simply just select uh, JPG so because uh, this image sequence just we will use as a image plane okay so just select this JPG sequence even according to a requirement you can also select maybe PNG or TIFF or whatever you like but just select the JPG now we have to click on ok then after this, this output so simply just we have to click here and just select your folder where you want to save this image sequence or new image sequence so again just come inside main folder whichever this sequence problem folder open this one and just create a folder and open this one and downside this is a, your actually file name or footage name so what we have to do so this underscore just you have to remove this one which is actually near to this bracket so just we have to remove this one and we have to put dot this is again most important things here and before this dot this is your file name so if you want you can also just rename this file name so file name then dot then inside this bracket these hashes so this will automatically take it just only you have to remove underscore and just you have to put this dot then after this we have to click on save now finally we have to click on this render so now render completed now come inside maya so now again we are inside maya so again if you will check so this is actually not playing here so what we have to do so again just we have to open up this main folder and just we have to select this camera then right side we have to click on this attribute editor then click on this camera image and downside you will get this image plane or image plane name simply just we have to click and just replace with new sequence which just you have exported from after effects select the starting frame now click on open then we have to also check this huge image sequence this is again important things here just click here and just simply just we have to play and check so now here if you will see so now this image space or footage is properly playing inside Maya. So you can see. Now there is no any problem. Then same way, suppose if you have imported camera track from uh, 3D equalizer. So again, just click on file, new scene, don't save. Now again, click on file, import, and just select your camera track, which just you have exported from 3D equalizer. So again, 3D, this is a 3D equalizer camera track. Now if you will see so same problem that I am getting here so again just we have to open this scene select this camera then go to attribute editor then click on image plane and, and just replace this image plane. Now again name sequence starting select starting frame then open then click on use image sequence and if you will see so now properly this image sequence is playing inside Maya. So if you are maybe facing this problem so like this just you can resolve your problem even from new also you can export so now we are inside new so simply just we have to import our image sequence and just link with this viewer and then click on this input then simply just take a right note then double click then click on file and just select your folder then even if what you can just create a folder Then downside just give a file name 
file name then put a dot then for his then dot jpeg then again we have to click on save then finally if you want you can also just increase this quality just click on render so this actually so remember this one here i have selected this input so this is frame range this will automatically take and finally just we have to click on ok so like this you can also convert your image sequence from new then after this simply just you can link this image sequence inside maya so now again if you want to see so now again we are inside maya so simply just again simply just click here now just again just select this folder so new sequence so here i have selected now click on open then again click on huge image sequence now if you will play and check so now this sequence is properly playing inside maya so guys like this simply just you can resolve your problem if you are facing this image sequence is not playing inside maya so guys till here i've completed over this class so if you like this video please watch share comment and subscribe my channel if you are still not subscribe my channel so thanks for watching